Hey guys, welcome back to All Around Lego, and today we will be reviewing Lego set 21114, the farm. Let's get into it. To start this review off, this set was released in November 2014 and retired in December 2016. It has 262 pieces, and at the time of retail, it costed $30. For the actual set itself, it comes with four minifigures. Um, I'll go left to right. For your first minifigure, you have a Minecraft skeleton. This was the first minifig Minecraft skeleton that you would have that was um, released. It has the standard skeleton legs and body and arms, except for the bow is obviously a Minecraft one. And the head is white with the skull face, which is really nice. And um, also with this um, body, you get a little inward slope on the arrow and stuff. So it actually kind of makes it look like a real Minecraft figure. I don't know if that was intentional by Lego, but really cool regardless. For the second minifigure, you have Steve. He has no ar armor. He's got the standard purple legs with blue torso. Obviously, standard Steve face with those purple eyes. And then for his utility, I guess, you have the uh, have a wooden shovel. Shovel. For the third minifigure, or... I don't know if it's a minifigure, but it's an animal. Uh, you have a cow. Obviously, really nice how Lego is able to use these pieces to make it look like they have legs. Obviously, he has it on the front and back. Do look like real legs. He's got white spots dotted without, which are one by one studs, as you can see at the top. And then filled in with one by two um, bricks. And then you have a the little like pink area under the cow. And then for the face, you have this like standard thing, just clips on really easy, and it features that cow face with a bit of gray, and uh, the nose of it. For the fourth and final minifigure, you have the sheep with the beige color feet. Once again, same thing as that, except for this one's all white. Um, it's a little smaller than the cow, as you can see right there. And then the face is the same, just with the sheep face. Really nice how they got the wool around it. And then the eyes and mouth still to look really nice why they did that. For the actual set itself, this set is pretty cool. Um, of the two Minecraft sets that I've built, this one is probably going to be better than the cave. Um, I like it because it's like big. But it's, it's hard to believe that, looking at this, this is just 262 pieces. Um, we'll start up in the upper left. Up in the upper left, you have a bit of cobblestone with the brick pattern there. It's part of it, and then the rest is just the same thing, but without brick. You got two torches on either of these pillars, and then you have water sloping down inward that goes in a... Uh, nice current, which looks really nice on the set. You've got a pumpkin fully grown onto one side and then some carrots or wheat growing behind it. Or actually it should be a pumpkin because they go like off, I think. Um, I really like how the water curves and it's held in this area. It looks really nice and really clean, which is really awesome. And then it runs off down this like little hill. And it branches off just like it would in Minecraft. Although it would probably also have two more pieces here. But I, um, before this review, I added two pieces there. And it didn't look quite as good. So I decided to leave it as that. Um, looks really nice. Obviously you got sugarcane on either side. Varying in heights and stuff. Just like in the real game, which is awesome. And then you have more of the farmland area on this lower plateau. In which you have some... I would assume this is like wheat or carrots that aren't fully grown. And then you have one full grown carrot with the just standard carrot look like that. Um, there are also beige bricks dotted around to simulate sand. This piece right here 
a 4x4. Um, isn't significant necessarily, but it definitely is one of the main connecting pieces on this set to keep it sturdy. And I also like how it wraps around, like as if it, the build were to continue around here, and this is like a little lake or something. And then over here, onto the far other part of this, you got a chest with some bread in it, just like in the cave. It's up against the farm, so I guess when you're done, you could also put your carrot in there if you really wanted to. And then, and you you have a, it's clearly in a plains biome probably, considering that it's pure flat. You also got your crafting table with the custom crafting table. Look, that's off to the side, and then you got a nice red flower over here. Along with these bricks that branch off from the side, which are like to hook it up to other builds, I'm pretty sure, if you wanted to do that. So that's actually really awesome. And then you got this little pen. Um... Get designed pretty simple. You got a smooth piece on top, pillars in the corners, and then you got the little fence pieces that look really good. And for the two fence gates, or actually one fence gate, it is a little inaccurate because it is substantially bigger than these, but regardless, it works and it does in fact fit the cow and sheep in there for playability, which obviously is an important thing in a game that is meant for kids. On the inside you got these little um, things here. I'm not sure the piece name, but um, they so the one on the, the ones on the left are for the cow to fit in and then the ones on the right are for the sheep to fit in and then they look like nice good behaving animals. Can't really move them around much besides on this. Although I do like how it allows for like more posability with that, although you don't have to have them like this, which is really awesome. And if we come over here behind the chest up to the upper plateau, back up to the upper plateau, I should say, you have a yellow flower, which is really nice, that ha is on one of these two jumper bricks, I'm pretty sure, now that I think about it. And then you have this small area, I'm pretty sure it's 8x8, uh, eight eight. yep, 8x8. Eight with a, it's completely empty, and then it just has birch tree. Birch tree, obviously, white with a bit of, like, some black, and I do wish they had maybe moved the black to, like, here and here. Although, nothing majorly wrong with it. Uh, for the tree itself, you use these, um, you have a formation like that, where you have two off the side and then two off the other side, so that your leaves can fit on really easily. Easily, you got your dark bricks facing up on the side like that, and then you have these bricks over here. Uh, this brick is supposed to be that dark color, although I did find this to have more texture and color, and overall more visually aesthetic for the set, although just, just keep in mind for this review that this is supposed to be that color. And I couldn't find the piece where I put it. That also had something to do with it. And then back here, you can see under the stilts that hold it up the plateau. Really nice, and you could also probably hook something under there. That is it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you enjoyed this review. And I will have the speed build of another set out soon, and I will see you next time in All Around Lego!